Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make lemon curd and this is what it looks like. Lemon curd has a sweet yet tart citrus flavor and the texture, it is smooth, almost velvety. So uh, a lemon curd is similar to like a lemon filling or a lemon custard in that it's cooked on the stove, but it's a little different that it doesn't contain a thickener like cornstarch. I do like to um, use a gentle heat when I make a lemon curd because it contains eggs. So I do have a saucepan of simmering water. So lemons, of course, big part of lemon curd. Um, when you're buying lemons, there's quite a few things here. First, you want a lemon that's kind of heavy for its size. That way, you know, it's got lots of juice inside. And, you know, buy organic if you can, because the flavor of a lemon comes not only from the juice, but from this outside skin. So um, you want, that's why it's best to have organic, but either way, wash your lemons really well. I use soap and water, rinse them, dry them off. Now we will need uh, one tablespoon, which is five grams of the lemon zest or the outer skin. And we will need a third of a cup, which is 80 milliliters, 80 grams of the juice. So since we need the zest, we want to do that first. So um, I'm using a microplane. You could use a box grater. And when you grate, you only want to grate the outside, the yellow part. That's where, you know, a lot of the flavor, actually, most of the flavor is in that skin. So you don't want to do the white because that'll make your lemon curd a little bitter. So just, you know, go around. I found for one tablespoon, and you want like, when you're doing, if you're using a tablespoon, kind of uh, press it down. Um, you will need maybe like two of these, two size of these lemons. I've already done that, so you don't have to watch me do that. So we have that. And then what you do is just cut them in half and squeeze out the juice. I just use one of these juicers. And I do, what I do like to do is because there is like seeds and that, so I put a little strainer over my measuring cup and there you go. So, you know, I'm going to say two lemons of this size, but these are really heavy. You might want to buy, you know, one or two extra because you never know. Sometimes I find the lemons, you hardly get any juice from them. So just keep that in mind. So for um, our curd, I like to use, you want a heat proof bowl. I like to use stainless steel. You will need three large eggs. That would be 150 grams of eggs out of the shell. And I'm just going to whisk those, break it up. And then I'm going to add three quarters of a cup, 150 grams of granulated white sugar. Now, if you make a lemon curd, I can guarantee it's not going to taste exactly like mine because it will depend on the lemons you use. Some, you know, you'll find are really tart, quite sour. Others, not so much. So, you know, it's going to vary. Probably if you make it now and then you made it like four or five months later, it'll taste different. So just keep that in mind. That's normal. So just whisk that and then we're going to add our third of a cup, 80 milliliters of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I find freshly squeezed is way better <laughs> than the uh, bottled stuff. I do not recommend that. So now we're going to put this over a saucepan of simmering water and we're going to cook it we're going to and you want to whisk constantly or stir it if you whisk it you'll get more air into your lemon curd so it will be a little lighter in texture if you stir it either with a heat proof spatula or a wooden spoon it won't be you know be a little denser in texture so i like it either way <laughs> But you want to stir it constantly because we do not want those eggs to cook. And we're going to cook this until it becomes thick, kind of like sour cream or like a Greek yogurt. And also when it coats the back of your wooden spoon or spatula. But I find the easiest way kind of is to use a thermometer. 
and we want to take this up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 74 degrees Celsius. Now you can use either, my preference is the um, digital, but you can just use a mercury thermometer, either one. So when you're cooking this, I, you know, I'm going to just give you like 10 minutes, usually. Uh, it, but it will depend on your water. Every once in a while, kind of check your water. Because if it, you don't want a real a, a, a boil, so I like to just keep an eye on that. And just keep stirring it till it gets to 165 Fahrenheit, 74 C. Okay, we are 165. It goes really quickly right at the end, so watch it carefully. I mean, you can take it up to about 170. You don't want to take it any more than that, which is about 76 C. So, as you can see, it's, it will continue to thicken as it cools. So, it's hard to tell. It, <laughs> if I put it in this one. As you can see, it coats the back, and if I put a line through, the line stays. So that's what you're looking for if you don't have a thermometer. So now I do like to pour the curd through a strainer just in case, you know, we didn't stir enough or something and you get a little bit of cooked egg. Don't worry, we'll just strain it out. <laughs> and that's why I don't add the zest when I'm cooking the curd because otherwise the zest would get caught in my strainer. And I really like to have that in my uh, finished curd, the little bit of zest. So, there we go. And now, what I'm going to do is add four tablespoons, which is 55 grams of butter. I'm using unsalted, I prefer the flavor, but you could use your favorite salted. And I, it's at room temperature, and I did cut it into small pieces. And that, you know, the butter's gonna add the, a little flavor, but it also is what gives our curd that really smooth and velvety texture. It's just wonderful. And then I'm gonna also stir in my zest. And that's lemon curd. So really you have lemon juice, eggs, sugar. That's kind of it. <laughs> so it's easy to make, everyday ingredients. Now once, once we stir this in, you want to cover it right away because we don't want a skin forming. I actually usually put it, you can just put plastic wrap right on the surface of your lemon curd, or I like to, I just put it into a jar. And it, you can store it in the refrigerator for, you know, about a week or so. Now, it's, it's quite thin still. It will thicken as it cools. And I find the flavor after a day or two, it kind of um, mellows out or just, you know, the flavor really develops. So I never, I never use it the first day that I make it. I leave it for a day or two. So there we have, that's lemon curd. So I'm just gonna let it cool down and then I'll put it into the refrigerator. Now I made this a couple days ago. And as you can see, it's really, it really thickens up. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, what do you do with lemon curd now that you have it? I mean, I could just eat it out of the jar. Um, traditionally, it was used to, as a spread for scones, or maybe scones, with some Devon cream. Absolutely delicious. But it's, you know, it's really good. You can put on pancakes or, uh, it's really good as a topping for say a cheesecake. You could use it to fill a tart shell, either a large one or small ones. You could use it as a filling for cakes. I mean, that's just some of the things you could do. Cupcakes, you could kind of um, uh, hollow out. Once you bake your cupcakes, take a little a hollow out and put some lemon curd in there. Very good. I'm gonna just try. I like it right off the spoon. Oh, the texture of lemon curd. I know I've gone on about that, but it is so smooth and velvety. 
it's just wonderful. And the, the citrus flavor, it's tart, but yet, you know, a little tangy sweet, I guess they call it. So you have to make this. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Oh,